All right. Hey, Mark Miller. And he'll get this up over the 25. Yeah, no, he... Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. <coughs> <coughs> all right. Really nice run. Oh, shit. Hey. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They get three there on the pickup. And that'll be good for a Houston first. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Time running out here on the play clock. Here's a give to Miller. Ooh. And ah. slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. Yeah. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Lamar Miller picks up the first down. The air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that'll earn him a fresh set of downs. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Again, it's Miller. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Now he's hit, and the ball comes out. Manziel lost it. And it's picked up by... There he goes, right side. And this is going to be brought back for a Baltimore touchdown. The... And they will line up now for the two-point try. Flacco looking to throw for it. And now the Thank you, Beecham. Gets there and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. And now out comes Houston. Start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he'll go down right at the 30 yard line. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. They'll take that anytime you hand the ball to a back. And he drives one in there, complete for Jeremy Macklin. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. And they're going to speed things up here. Manziel and Stills over the middle they stop him for only three that time and that'll bring up fourth down and how about the call here they need two yards in their own territory on fourth down and they're going to go for it they'll try and throw for it here and this is caught he hits Macklin and he's Jesus. the first before he's brought down at the 39 yard line I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. Boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I, I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. But they must have either felt like they either had a great play call on or they're trying to show extreme confidence. No gain on the play there. Second down. Well, a well-executed blitz, no doubt. Great job by the linebacker. Maybe the quarterback, if he could have seen that, could have audibled there. Yeah, he needed to be in a different play because that one just meshed perfectly for the defense. All the gaps were filled, except for the one the offense really wanted to run through. And that was filled with a big man wanting to make a tackle. And he made a great tackle. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Here's Manziel and finding Fedorowicz. Fedorowicz, let's go. And picking up the first. There's a good push to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed, I mean, the flat-out run. You put that whole package together, 
You light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? And he'll bring this one inside the 35. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end of the half Thank you, Deshaun. that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Dumps it complete to Miller. Let's go. And taking it to the 15 yard line before he's brought down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football, he can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little there bit. There we go. But get him out in the open Sean field. Sean picks up five. Space. Dad plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are. You know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Now Manziel. And he'll check this one down. That's Sean McCoy. And he'll take this one in for Let's go. the Texans touchdown. Was Sean McCoy his fourth touchdown on the year and the Texans will add on to their lead getting your back in let's go what's the importance there in the passing game well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover and get him into space which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands oftentimes makes people miss because they hmm. run after the catch and off he goes and into the end zone is the Texans kick team as they'll send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. I probably push him, don't fail me. Run. That was what we call a first level run and it was stopped by a second level player. Let's go. With the struggles we're seeing up front for the offense today, they've got to think about changing up their play calling. Some screens, some draws, some quick hitting plays in order to try and supplement the run game. You don't totally abandon it, but you try and give it a little bit of help. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. It'll be a gain of eight, but it also lead to a fourth down. Here's Ryan Quigley now as he's on to punt for Baltimore. That's fielded at the eight yard line. Running into the punter. position and he just gets taken out here's a jay and he'll get this into enemy territory but not by much as he's down to the 48 a gain of three yeah well, i think we know by now that every run is not going to be broken and get all the way to the end zone these short ones still have their value. You can still set up your play action and throw the football. You control the clock because then you have the ball and they don't. And often the Thank you, CJ. sets the tempo for the game. No gain on the play and it's going to bring up a third down. They were stopped on that play. We've had plenty of carries all afternoon. Every now and then the defense is going to win one, but I don't think they'll shy away from handing it to them the rest of the game. So now it's third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. Oof. He took the contact as he was throwing it, and the ball drops incomplete. 
third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. Garbage. What garbage. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really so nice pick up? run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. Ooh, my brother, here. 10 yards. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty. Can oh. make moves, make people miss, but also gets to 17 yards. before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, that led to a really... 2816 heading to the fourth. You run a screen pass really well. You gotta like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work. Back now here on EA Sports. It's right. the Texans and Make it ready for work. And leading this game as well as we start the fourth. Miller, the lone setback. And he'll get it up the middle. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. The fourth quarter here. They've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now they're going to see more people stacked up at the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. Miller will get it. He has been busy today. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. Well, they brought in an extra defensive back here, so probably not expecting a run on third and three. A good call. Back to throw. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. Puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. The Texans send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Ravens offense now. They get set to head back on the field. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football comes into play. How do I take care of my defense? How do I take care of my offense? Well, the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways. Now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out. Give them a little bit of rest. Yeah, time, time for them to give them a rest. You took the words right out of my mouth. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because
because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're either throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Offense needs 11, have to think pass here on third down. Third down, Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. Caught left side, Gilmore. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right. They're kind of played into their hands. Here's Ryan Quigley now. He's been terrific so far. Forty-four on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. This will be fielded at the 17. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Texans take possession. And now out comes Houston. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away. Jesus. Danny Williams. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, we just saw the recipe for success right there. Big body, strong, agile, playing with great leverage and hands. Not really able to be blocked on that play. Close things down inside. Eluding the pressure right. Right side caught Fedorowicz. There we go, Fedorowicz. Let's go. And fits the exact right word. Over the middle, there's almost always traffic. So anytime you're a receiver in that area, you're not just focused on catching the football. You're wondering where the collision's going to come from, right? Because there's almost always someone there able to concentrate, catch it, and even add a little extra at the end with a short run. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles but when he can make a play himself as we just saw there that's a big day cj fedorowitz the intended receiver and it's third down it's always tough trying to keep your guy upright when he's trying to throw the football when you're dealing with those big bad guys on the defensive front it's even tougher and this time those guys on the opposite side won the battle getting to the quarterback and knocking him into an incompletion and intercepted maybe the turning point they need a great read and it's picked off the garbage returned to right around the 38 yard line well they're not making it easy on themselves here down the stretch two picks now in the fourth quarter trying to hang on to that lead talk about keep Thank you, JJ. People are really happy about those picks. Any fantasy team that has this defense. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Damn. A big play there on the catch and run. 58 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights, and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield. Those guys made that Beecham, play thank you. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. 
When you put together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. Second and goal to go now. JJ Watkinson. At the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Not only was that a terrific play, but that loss of yardage they created this close to their own goal line, that gives them a little breathing room now as they move them back. Yeah, they're breathing fire a little there bit right now, aren't they? A lot of confidence being shown by them at this point of the game. Partner, how many times have you heard it? Pressure creates diamonds, right? <laughs> but it also bursts pipes. And on that one, that's what they got. They got after him, and he was fortunate just to get rid of it. Yeah, he just had to chuck it away. Here we go. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Flacco. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, a great read, and it's picked off. And a short return will be stopped inside the 10 at the 8-yard line. Partner, we always talk about possessions being at a pre- No one for two. Houston and following the interception we'll see what they can put together on this drive I can hear my old college coach right now he always used to tell us before every game the team making the fewest mistakes will win what they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game coaches that's all they talk about turnovers right minimizing those and maximizing opportunities that was a nicely run slant route and what the receivers trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Looking left side, that's caught by Macklin. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Seven yards there on the pickup. And it's good enough for a Houston first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is? to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. They'll run it again with Miller. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. On third down, Miller. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. And now the Ravens are going to take another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. On the counter, it's Miller, and he is going to lose yardage here. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. This is Miller. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards. Back to the 33. It's a loss of two. Now third down. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Back-to-back -back runs that were stacked up. Offensively, now you've got to think to yourself, do we change blocking assignments? Do we change formations? Do we change looks in order to try and get the running game going? Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. The Texans send the punter out as he's on to kick it away. Pressure. 
pressure comes and it's blocked. The Ravens block it. Now this will be picked up inside the 25. <laughs> what garbage. So much for What garbage. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not gonna go their way. And this is where in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because you're not gonna make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here in this last sequence. How many times when we see an incomplete pass, we just look at the receiver and say, ah, should have caught that one. That was a drop, and we just put it on the offense. How about a little credit for the defense there? They just forced an incompletion. Yes, there we go. After starting in a tough spot defensively, but a good start there on first down. That gave them a little extra confidence there, starting, as you said, in a tough spot and being able to make a play. Damn, the Eagles beat the shit, bro. It's 35-7. Here's Flacco. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the ah. in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Down to an ego's Manzel, and that should be your ball. Let's go.
but that's gonna be it. <coughs> like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. Catch you on the next one. Peace.